North Korea has sentenced two U.S. journalists to 12 years hard labour in one of its notorious gulags. Yuna Lee and Laura Ling were convicted of illegally entering the closed communist state with hostile intent. The White House said in a statement that President Obama is deeply concerned by the sentencing of the two journalists and will use all possible channels to secure their release. North Asia correspondent Mark Willisie reports from Tokyo. North Korea says Yuna Lee and Laura Ling illegally crossed into its territory from China. But colleagues say the journalists were snatched by the Stalinist state's border guards while on Chinese soil. They were doing a story on uh, North Korean refugees um, making their way into China, trying to obviously get away from um, the government there. And I think that this is a pretty clear message to other journalists to say, um, if you are caught, this is what's going to happen. Li and Ling were charged with hostile acts against the closed communist state. And after a five-day trial, they were sentenced to 12 years of what the court calls reform through labour. That means hard labour at one of North Korea's infamous prison camps. 12 years is uh, difficult to hear, but um, I'm hoping that it's more symbolic than anything else and that maybe they'll be uh, released within a matter of months. That could very well depend on Washington's approach to the Stalinist state. It's feared that the two imprisoned journalists will be used as bargaining chips by Pyongyang to get the Obama administration to back off and maybe to even win concessions from Washington. For Lee and Ling, life inside a North Korean labour camp is a grave prospect. Survivors of these gulags recount stories of starvation, torture and execution. The jailing of the two reporters has heightened tension between Washington and Pyongyang after North Korea's recent nuclear and missile tests. And pressure is building on the Obama administration to put the communist state back on the list of sponsors of terrorism. Well, we're going to look at it. There's a process for it. Obviously, uh, we would want to see uh, recent evidence of their uh, support for international terrorism. There's growing evidence that North Korea is again preparing to fire a long-range ballistic missile with spy satellites photographing a rocket being readied on a launch pad in the country's west. And today, the Japanese revealed that Pyongyang has warned all shipping to stay away from waters between the two countries, which Tokyo believes is a sign of more imminent missile launches from the unpredictable north. We think that the possibility of North Korea moving to missile launches, including ballistic missile launches, as a response to moves such as the UN Security Council cannot be denied. In the middle of all this are Yuna Lee and Laura Ling, two journalists who could very well end up as valuable pawns in Kim Jong-il's own brand of high-stakes brinkmanship. Mark Willisie, Late Line.